Hey everybody, how's it going? Alright, so we're gonna talk stock in this 55 gallon um, aquarium. I've got a couple of options. I'm gonna show you guys what, um, what I've got available. So let's uh, go visit the first fish, first candidate uh, to fill this tank. Okay, so the first option um, we've got are rainbow platies. I've got, I bet you there's probably uh, 20 to 30 mature adults in this 40 gallon pond. And then there's probably another 200 or so fry amongst all of this uh, duckweed, water lettuce, floating pearl weed. As you can see, let's get a closer shot here. We got fry all over in here. Excellent cover for these guys. This pearl weed. Yeah. Just at a quick estimation, I bet there's every bit of close to 200 fry. So, we could put upwards of uh, 200 plus platies in the 55. It'd be pretty interesting. be a really full tank. Definitely a lot of fish to look at. Um, these platies are a, a pretty attractive fish when it comes to its coloration. Um, the adults are being pretty elusive right now. But... Okay, so put a few, uh, put some flake in there for them and they are definitely uh, going to town here. So yeah, they're uh, pretty fish. There's a lot of um, pearlescence on its side that you can't see from looking down on the fish. These were actually my uh, first fish I purchased getting back into the hobby. A little over a year ago now. Started out with uh, just six of them. And now look at them. So that's one option. Go to the next option. Okay, so the next option here is our is my uh, dwarf praycox rainbows. As you can see here, I've got a good clutch of uh, adults. And these two smaller ones are actually fry. Um, that really raised out, grew out into this tank. Um, I put them in here several months ago. I did see some fry in here today, or not some fry, uh, some eggs. Um, I don't know if it's going to focus on that. There's one right in the center of the screen, it looks. And I pulled some off and put them in another tank. But anyhow, this uh, this is a good option to put in there. They'll school nicely in that four foot tank. Um, yeah, I am getting uh, eggs and fry out of them, so I'm kind of leaning towards leaving them in here. Uh, I put this piece of pearl weed in there today to kind of uh, give them something to spawn on, because there was a piece of plant that was floating and they did spawn on there. I'm going to remove those eggs or that plant out and put them in a 10 gallon to see if we get any uh, fry from them. But um, I'm almost inclined to leave these where they're at since they are breeding. Um, I'm getting eggs out of them. Now it's just up to me to make sure the eggs hatch so and stay alive after that. So the next option after this are going to be some nano fish. So I bring you to the first group. Okay, here's a 20 long. This was the uh, overgrown 20 long video, believe it or not. Uh, I recently removed all of the uh, pearl weed and then put some Amina, Amina grisalis, or grisalis uh, red plant, red stem plant. I took all the bottoms and put them in this tank and the tops are in another tank. So, we'll see how well they do. It looks like they're starting to get some sprouts, but to the fish. I've got a school of six brilliant hatchet fish. And I've got a school of seven rummy nose rasboras. I 
And those are the rasboras. And then these fish with the line through them are the hatchet fish. So these two fish in here would be a cool fish to put uh, in the 55. We'll definitely give them a room to school. So let's look at the uh, other options we got as far as uh, putting some other nanos in the 55. I've also got four of these. I think they're called Amber Dwarf Barbs. We can add to the 55 Dwarf Nano Tank. Or, uh, not Dwarf Nano Tank. Nano Tank. So they're pretty um, skittish fish. They're uh, very shy. So I'm thinking with a bunch of other fish in there including the um, Dwarf Emerald Resbora. They may uh, do okay. And in this tank as well I've got some pygmy quarries. Those things are cool. And what's really cool about these is those barbs actually school with these pygmies or pygmy school with the barbs they hang out. as you can see. So yeah, this is an option as well. Okay, so this is my 40 breeder. Uh, we've got gold white cloud minnows. That one's got some fringe damage, I'm getting picked on. We've got um, purple Emperor Tetris. And then we've got um, Emerald Dwarf Rasboras. So these will be three cool fish um, to put in there. I do have um, seven Rust Quarry Cats. They're all about full grown now. And unfortunately, I've already got pandas in the 55, so these will stay here. I can move the fish, other fish out. So, um, if I do end up putting the platys in there, what I would like to do, because uh, that platy pond stays relatively cold, I don't have a heater in or anything. Uh, the platys seem to be doing fantastic, um, despite it being only about 70 degrees, 72 sometimes. Um, but what I was thinking was of putting <coughs> these golden white cloud minnows in there. There's lots of uh, overhead cover for them, a lot of space for them to get the, the females to spread out. Um, there are two or three males, and then uh, I think there's a total of seven. I think I have three males, four females. Um, yeah, that one female there. Or is that a male? That's a female right up front with a damaged fin. It looks like there's a male right there with a damaged fin too. They're not playing well with each other. It's they're spawning. It would appear so because she's pretty big. So yeah. And I've got one more other option that we can add to um, the nano fish tank if we go that route. So let's check these out. Okay, the last stocking nano fish idea to add to the mix are these seven Gertrudes blue eye rainbows. This is about as big as they're going to get, just over an inch, maybe maybe an inch and a half max. Um, but I've got um, three males, four females here. So these would be a cool addition. They would uh, stay up close to the top, as you can see. It's kind of how their, their pattern is most of the time. But let's see if I can't get a better light on them. Well, since I do that, they move it back. There we go. Carp 
bit of algae here. There we go, you can get a good look at them. The male there at the bottom, through the algae, you can see he's, he's orange on the tip of his pectoral fins. So yeah, that's another option to add to the fish. So let me know what you guys think. Um, what, what would you guys do? Leave in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up or down. Either way, doesn't matter to me. Have a good one, everybody. Thank you.